What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today we're going to do something on this channel we have never done before. We are going to open some Union Arena. Now, Union Arena is a card game. I'm kind of, I've got, I've got my eye on over in Japan. I've done a couple of videos about it already. There will be some more as time goes by. I like Union Arena. It's a cool game. The problem is, very much like Vice Schwartz and oh, hello, that's a nice little fancy. Fancy box design. Very much like card games like Vice Schwartz. No box topper, sadly. And um, Build Divide. That's the other one I'm thinking of. There's no... No, that's not the word I'm looking for. They've got different themes to every set. So the problem was, you know, with this particular game, you know, Union Arena comes out. And the first four sets are basically based on anime I, I don't watch. Things I have no real interest in. And maybe if I watched them, I would love them. I've watched a bunch of anime. I've loved a bunch of anime. But it's not been enough for me to, you know, plonk the money down, given that I don't have infinite funds for card games. Though I very much wish I did. And then they went and released Demon Slayer. Now, I am not completely up to date with Demon Slayer, I will admit. And I've not watched as much Demon Slayer as I would like to have watched. However, it's awesome. I did open up some Bill Divide Demon Slayer, yeah, they've done sets. Now we've got this as well. I haven't actually opened a second Build of I Demon Slayer set. Maybe I should get onto that. But today we're on Union Arena, and let's have a look at our first ever booster box. Now, I've had a little bit of a look at the rarities for this game, and my understanding is that we are expecting basically four SRs and one star rare. However, there are action point rares, which are one per case. And then there are two and three star rares, which are apparently even rarer than that. So I'm a little bit, a little bit excited about that. And what do we get? So presumably that, yeah, so there is a rare. And the rares, like we see in most card games, the rares come out as hollows. We can figure them all out and get them all sleeved afterwards. Now, in a weird, now weirdly, right, when it comes to Union Arena... They have done a lot of magazine promos. I believe, and I need to double check and make sure I'm not being a dumbo here. I believe I've actually picked up all of the magazine promos for Union Arena, regardless of the property. There's the rare for this pack. Oh, draw one card. So, I, where am I going with this? So yeah, so I've got this weird Union Arena collection going, where I've, I've been picking up all of the promos regardless of which game they're from obviously there have been a couple of demon slayer promos they are very cool but i've been picking up the promos for every game but then i've not been worried about picking up sets because i don't have infinite money so it's been a little bit weird oh there's an sr now i will say looking at the r look at the sr we've got a full art version so you know you, you'll notice the um the text box is gone. There's no box there. It's all over the art. So they do look cooler in that regard. But the foiling is the same. There's no texturing on the SRs. Hopefully we'll get ourselves at least a star rare. That is what I've been led to believe we should get. And hopefully that will have some kind of foiling, texturing, etc. But it, it's weird. I want to... I mean, you know me at the stage. I love me some card games. I want to just dig in on every set. But with... And there's your rare for the set. You know, we're following Pokemon and One Piece and Lorcana and, you know, trying to keep up with the Star Wars Unlimited news that's coming out. And then also, you know, trying to dip into games like Union Arena. There's only so much time in the day and only so many hours in the week. So there is a bit of picking and choosing. Now, the next set. Now, I thought I ordered two boxes of this. I unfortunately haven't. Oh, now that is an SR. And that one does look very nice. And you, you mean, look at the difference here. You've got the artwork really going outside of the border. And those two SRs, one of those. Yeah, the Nezuko looks a lot, lot cooler there. So I think the two super rares, they are not even in terms of how cool they look. So there is a My Hero Academia set coming quite soon. Now that one I've checked. <laughs> I saw that was in Japan. And I am... Um, I had a look, and then I, I saw it had actually gone up quite a bit in price to pre-order. And then I started kicking myself for not having 
gone to the effort of pre-ordering it and being a little bit sad. I pre should have pre-ordered it when I had the chance. And then I went and checked. It turns out I had. I had, in fact, pre-ordered a couple of boxes, two boxes, when I had the opportunity to do so. So the wonderful thing is I do have a couple of boxes of My Hero Academia on the way. And as I mentioned in a few videos, I am finally getting to go to Japan. Well, very, very end of July, really the first couple of weeks of August. And this is where things like the second Demon Slayer Build Divide set, which I never actually picked up any of, should get some of that. Maybe I'll pick up... There's your rare for the pack. Maybe I'll pick up some other Union Arena sets other than Demon Slayer. Maybe I'll pick up some more Demon Slayer. Try and complete the set or, you know, except for the two and three star rares. If they're rarer than one per case, or even if they're one per case, that is, um... Yeah, I'm not completing a master set of that, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't doing it. But certainly My Hero Academia, I could see myself picking up many, many boxes of that. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, Demon Slayer, I am absolutely loving. I'm enjoying it greatly. But My Hero Academia, oh, it is good. It is very good. To the point I'm currently watching it, when I finish reading One Piece, which will still take a while, to be fair, I might go and actually just read all of My Hero, because, come on, it's awesome. Should read Demon Slayer as well, really. If anyone hasn't picked up the Shonen Jump app, I think I pay three pounds a... Oh, my word! Okay, that is the stuff. Not the character I would personally have been hoping for. Does that card feel thicker? Hmm, not 100% sure. Might feel a little bit thicker. Not exactly the character for which I was hoping, but that is what I was talking about a moment ago. The Super Rares, the SRs, they don't actually have the foiling and all. You know, they have foiling, but they don't have the texture or any of that. That is an absolutely beautiful card. Not my favourite character, unfortunately. He's a bit weird. The head doesn't stay on. It is just a person underneath a boar's head, which is in itself a little bit weird. But I don't know. He's, he's, just, he's not my favourite, I'll be honest with you. He's not my favourite. But that is a beautiful card. So the Super Rares, I'll be honest with you, the Super Rares are slightly disappointing. The Rares are standard, just... Kind of regular cards hollowed up. Or the same as regular cards but hollowed. The super rares are cool, especially the ones where the artwork goes kind of outside the margin. That's really cool. But I will say, that's that star card. Oh, absolutely stunning. Of course, the problem is when you're buying, basically, unless you're buying a full case, it's always a little bit awkward to know. That was halfway through, by the way. So we are expecting four SRs and a star. We got two SRs and a star. We have got the second half of the box to go. So it's always kind of awkward when you're... um. It's, it's always awkward when you're not buying a full case. There's a... Uh, has this been searched? Has somebody pulled the best cards from the case and then sold the other boxes? I, I don't know is the honest answer. I can't remember if this came from Amazon or a reseller. Oh, there's an SR. And again, I think the first SR was just a bit rubbish compared to the others, honestly. Because the second two SRs coming out are just looking stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, they, they do. I'm sitting there cutting them all. They've clearly got little tear strips I couldn't see earlier. Because I am apparently a bit stupid. So, maybe one SR to go. Maybe we've got more than that. We can have a bit of a gander. Now, Union Arena... I keep getting questions about, hey, Wossy, we'll is this going to be getting a release in English? And my inkling is at the moment, no, but don't rule it out. You see, the problem we find with Union Arena is the same as we see for games like Vice Schwartz, which is lots of different properties. And that makes the licenses super awkward. You know, take My Hero Academia. I've told you I'm excited for that set coming out. That is Union Arena set. I am super hyped for, but of course, we need to raise the question of, well, hang on a second, aren't Jasco Games making a My Hero Academia game? And yes, they are. Uh, I've opened a bunch on this channel. I did some official reveals of Sir Night Eye. It was, it's awesome. Jasco are being very nice to me with that game. I'm absolutely loving it. So how would that work? And the answer, the honest answer is I, I haven't seen the contract, so I couldn't tell you for certain. But the other part of the answer is... We could see, because a lot, oh my word. Oh, hang on a second. I'm being dumb, ladies and gentlemen. 
So the pig guy, that was actually an SR2 star rare. And this is a U star rare. And it, oh my word, these cars are beautiful. I might be slightly disappointed with the SRs, although some of them are cool. Look at these. Oh my word, I like these cards, ladies and gentlemen. I like these cards very much indeed. Oh, I'm going to end up buying so much of the My Hero set, aren't I? It's going to happen. With cards like this. Okay, so if those two-star reds are as rare as I'm being made out to believe, I think this was a really good box. I was having a look around online, and what I could find about pull rates was one star per box... And then the two and three star rares, maybe not one per case. And we've gone and managed to somehow grab a two star and a one star, I think. Oh, this is wonderful. And they are beautiful cards. So yeah, if Union Arena was to come out in English, I would imagine it would be a similar kind of thing to Vice Schwartz, where we wouldn't necessarily get all of the sets Japan gets, and they wouldn't necessarily get the same ones as ours. So we could get, and again, this is pure speculation on my part, to be clear, but we could get the, um, you know, we could get Union Arena the game, but then we wouldn't necessarily get the My Hero Academia set, but then we might get some sets, you know, like Vice Wars has got the Avatar set, which is an English original, which, as it stands, has not been confirmed for Japan. I don't think Japan are getting it. Again, probably a licensing issue. I also, I believe, and if I'm wrong about any of this, please do let me know, but I believe the deal is that with... That essentially you can play the different sets against each other, but you have to make a Demon Slayer set. Like, if you're making a Demon Slayer deck, it has to be a Demon Slayer deck. So, for that reason, I think you could kind of do it like the Vice Schwartz model. I would love it personally, because it's a cool game. But it's something we'll have to, I suppose, wait and see. Either way... This is not going to be the last you see of me for Union Arena. There is the fourth SR we were expecting. And okay, the first one seemed a bit lame compared to the others. The others are cool. And like we say, we've got the one and two star cards. They are just stunning. And now I'm, I'm desperate to know. And I'm not intending to sell them. But I am kind of desperate to know if they hold any value. Because that would make me happy. Not to sell. Just to know that I could if I wanted to. Right, this is the last pack. I think we've done very well, but let's see. Ah, just a standard rare to finish off. But I think we did well with this box. We got our four super rares, including Nezuko, who I'm assuming is going to be one of the more popular ones. And then we got our star and two star cards, which, like I say, I'm not an expert. So correct me in the comment section if I am mistaken. But my understanding is those two star rares do not come out every box. And that makes me very happy indeed. It's cool. And now I need to go and see if I can find a site which values Union Arena cards. Right. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. So you know the deal. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think about Union Arena. All that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross. And you've been watching Wossy Plays. Bye.